started my orientation at one place um, and today I'm going to a different site um, and this is where I did my practicum so I'm actually looking really forward to it. It's not on the same unit or anything like that but um, same site so I'm excited. I feel like this will be a little bit easier for me to kind of get used to just because I like for the most part know the lay of things. Um, I'm just gonna um, just gonna see like any like additional add-ons and stuff that I kind of need to know. Um, so this is day one of my 40 set. I have started my orientation like I said at a different place. So I had yesterday off, the one day off, and now um, I'm starting today. I have a four day set, but basically in combination with this site, the other site, and finishing Lululemon and having some additional trainings and stuff, I'm literally on for 10 days straight starting today. So it's going to be a lot of work. Um, I don't think I'm going to vlog for the 10 days straight in this one, one, um, one video, but I think I will probably start today and then whenever I choose to end it, I'll finish the vlog and then I'll start again for my continuity of my the rest of my days. Um, it is going to be tiring, but it is what it is. I, so far, I have enjoyed the other site a lot. I'm learning so much. Um, and now today, like I said, I'm going to go to this place and I'm going to obviously learn some more. So it's definitely just absorbing a lot of knowledge. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's good. Um, and yeah, you actually get to like, you know, have your designation as a nurse and everything. I remember the other day when I was at orientation, I saw like, you know, my designation next to my name. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so exciting. And like, it's just like the first of everything just feels so exciting. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's like the end of January almost when I'm starting all this. So I'm going to give you an update of everything and like why I chose to kind of start now and not earlier and not later. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have like a full sit down chat in this video for sure, probably um, in two days because today and tomorrow are my day shifts and I think I'll do it in the morning before my night shift um, just because I don't really have much time I find on day shifts after 12 hours. So yeah, that will be the plan. Also, the weather is really, really bad today. Um, it has been actually for quite a few days, but like, it's like really, really foggy outside. Um, and so there's already been a lot of traffic this morning. Um, yeah, I just want to drive safely, get to work safely, come back home safely. Like, <laughs> that's it. Um, anyways, I'm going to go to work and then I shall probably update you when I'm off work. Otherwise, probably tomorrow. So I just got home from work and I had a really, really good day. Um, I feel so tired. It's obviously, I think the biggest thing is just because obviously like I was doing practicum and everything and I was working actually a lot because I was doing my full-time nursing hours and I was still working as a student nurse and I was working at Lululemon. And so it was obviously a lot for me that time. But then after when like preceptorship finished, I had literally like two, three weeks of, well, actually that's a lie because I literally picked up so many shifts at Lululemon and I chose all early hours. So um, I was still not sleeping enough, but then I ended up getting really sick like after Christmas um, and I had no choice but to like literally rest and it wasn't COVID or anything. I went and got tested, it was negative, but I just still like that, like it was a flu and I could feel it. And I was just like, this is just like my body burning out and giving up on me right now. So after that, then I started getting a little bit more sleep and stuff for a few weeks because um, I was working less. I was doing like a lot of online orientations, so I didn't have to actually wake up and go anywhere. So now it's just like transitioning back into like 12 hours and then like coming home so late and then basically getting ready to go back to work the next day. It's a lot. So anyways, I just got home. I literally haven't even taken all my stuff out. I'm going to put my lunch outside. Um, actually... <laughs> my food is here at least. My sister ordered Subway for me and she ordered it at perfect timing because it literally arrived at the door as soon as I got home. So I cannot wait to eat. I also have to prep my lunch for tomorrow. Um, it's like the, I already cooked the chicken breast and everything yesterday but um, the containers that I used were all being used up so my mom said she would empty it out for me today. So I'm gonna go and put some salad and chicken breast in there and I'll probably just like put my um, protein bar and everything in here and then tomorrow morning I'll just throw it all into my lunch kit um, and then I'll just put it in the freezer at the site but yeah that's the plan for now um 
I'm just gonna quickly go do all this stuff because I don't have much time because I also want to look through my orientation folder that I got today um just some a little bit more prep for tomorrow um and I know kind of like what I need to focus on so yeah I need to just kind of get going with my evening now I just got home from work I got a little bit late coming home today and I am so tired I have already changed my pajamas and my sister alfredo pasta so we're gonna eat that um there's chicken breast i am so hungry and i'm just so so exhausted today i had a really really busy day um and i think tomorrow i'll do like a sit down chat with me i was gonna show you all what i take well what i took for the last two days to work for my lunch and it's actually worked really well and i'm super proud of it so i want to share that with you i want to share it today but i don't think i am gonna do that right now um just because i really want to eat so I shall just show you tomorrow when um, I won't be taking it for my night shift, but I'll just show you in the morning what I've been taking. Hi everyone, it's the next day and I am so tired. Um, I have such a bad headache because I didn't get like enough sleep. Like I got enough sleep, but the thing is I woke up at 7.15 today and I'm so annoyed with that because I'm working night shift tonight and I wanted to sleep in so that um, I can like not be tired when I'm working my night shift and I was so tired from like the last two days of working anyways I naturally woke up at 7 15 and then I tried to stay in bed and I was like okay like I want to go to sleep I want to go to sleep and then I ended up getting up around eight something um because I just couldn't fall asleep and I have a strong feeling that I'm not gonna be able to nap today and I'm just gonna be extremely tired during my night shift so We'll see how that goes. I am going to try my best to take a nap because just because I woke up a little bit early, but I doubt that's going to happen because when I was doing my practicum, I used to like literally never nap and I would just go to work. Um, so let's see if that happens today or not. Um, it is almost 1130 now and I've just been doing some like laptop work, which obviously there was really nothing to show. Um, and now I'm going to steam my scrubs so that I have my scrubs are steamed for tonight's shift and for tomorrow's night shift um I always just like to do it in pairs just because I don't want to come out and be steaming my scrubs every day and then sometimes if I choose to steam all of them together it ends up making such a big mess at my house because then they're all just like hanging either on my door or on like my um desk chair so yeah anyways I'm gonna probably wear these blue figs tonight I also ordered a new pair of figs and they came in today and I'm so excited. I'm going to show you all after I do this just because um, it was like that new espresso color and I'm so, so excited to wear them. There's also um, the mauve, mineral mauve that came out. And I really, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but anyways, I really want that one too. Um, but I was like, they're just so expensive. So I ordered a different pair of figs like a few months ago and I think I might sell those ones I haven't worn them yet I think I might sell those on Poshmark and if they sell soon and the mineral mauve or like another new color um like nice new color is out then I'll just get then I'll just end up buying a different pair of figs if my other ones sell in a decent amount of time because I haven't worn them but it's like the hunter green color it ended up being a lot brighter than I thought and I like to wear more like either not necessarily light colors but like more neutrals but like this one's a little bit this is like probably the lightest and like the most color of scrubs that I actually have so I'll see what happens I'm gonna sell it on Poshmark I was also just gonna say if you're interested um you can just search on my name and on Poshmark and it should come up um and also I will link a little code thing because I think you get $15 off your first purchase if you like use my name um so I don't know if that's still happening I think it is but I'll link it in the description so you can always just use that and get $15 off your first purchase for like signing up and actually buying something <laughs> I 
just had um, lunch and I washed a little bit of dishes. There were like too many, so I only did what I could. Um, for lunch, I just had a turkey sandwich. I had a little drinkable yogurt and some like veggie juice. Um, I'm gonna probably have samosas tonight for like dinner before I go to work. So, and also I'm gonna have like coffee in like another hour, two hours I would say. So I was like, I don't wanna drink, I don't wanna eat like such a heavy meal. So it was a turkey sandwich, it was good, it was light. Um, I thought I would quickly show you my two packages that I have at home. I actually have a lot of packages at home and they're all Lululemon, but those are all gonna be my Lululemon hauls. But anyways, I'm just gonna show you these two packages quickly. So the first one's from GNC, um, and let's open this up. Oh gosh. I honestly think this stuff works really well I was like is this like I couldn't tell if it's like a placebo effect or what but I don't know after a few uses I realized I was like you know what this actually does work so um, I learned about liquid IV from Abby Aslan's vlogs I've been watching her since like forever since she like first started her channel that's where I learned it from and apparently like not apparently unfortunately um, liquid IV is not available in Canada but I always order it from gnc.com and then obviously when you convert it to like Canadian money like US dollars to Canadian dollars it ends up being a lot and then shipping's a lot too but um, that's why I usually just order two packs together or sometimes like three packs together that way at least I'm saving on the shipping a little bit and then I usually wait until they send like a discount code or something to order from there um, so anyways I got the watermelon flavor and the lemon lime right here and honestly like if you're sick if you're just feeling very dehydrated you have a headache um i think it's really um actually kind of helpful to like put one of these little packets into water and just mix it and drink it so that's that from gnc and then i got a fix order and i'm so excited um i already told you all what this is but it came really fast because fix literally just dropped this color last week and it's already here Oh my god, this is such a pretty color. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Like what is this color? It is so pretty. It's like um it's called espresso, which I said. Let me hold on, let me open the shirt as well and put you together. So that's the top right here. I don't know if you can tell like this. I'll, I'll be show you in like one of my other vlogs when I actually put it on, then you can see how it looks. And then these are the pants. Um, these are actually different than the ones I usually get. Usually I just get the basic ones, but they never had the espresso color in like the basic scrub pants. So I think I got the cargo ones this time, I think. Um, but it's my first time getting that. And I always get a size small in my scrubs just because um, I tried on the extra small when my cousin first gifted me fix and they were just a little too tight around my thighs. So obviously like in the hospital and stuff, you're um you just like you're moving around a lot so i just wanted to be comfortable so i always get a size small and it fits me really well um but anyways like this color is so pretty so like i said it is espresso um but it seems like it has like um like the undertone is like some sort of like purpley undertone so definitely has that purple kind of element in there but i just think it's so nice and i love that this drawstring is like this mauve color because it's not nothing like too strong and like out there because I know sometimes when they make their scrubs the put the drawstrings like really bright which obviously like if you're um only is seen if you tuck your scrub tops in and if you leave your scrub tops out then nobody can see it but I don't know I get weirded out about things like that so that's that I'm so excited I really really want to order them off so um hopefully my hunter green sells on Poshmark and then I can order the other ones because um, I've been wanting them for a really long time. 
and sorry, I'm talking so fast right now. And um, I've actually just needed more scrubs and stuff because um, I am working at three different sites. So uh, two of them, at least you should be wearing scrubs right now, especially because of COVID in psychiatry, you don't necessarily have to wear scrubs. Um, you can wear like casual clothing, but um, just because of COVID, I know that it's obviously um, better to be wearing scrubs. So that's kind of why. And I also threw some of my scrubs from clinical, like my clinical rotations out because they were just so like they were shrunk and they were like linty and everything because I've obviously worn them so much. Um, and I used to like, because I would have mostly, usually I would have clinical two days a week. Um, and then I would just rotate the same scrubs. Um, so yeah, anyways, I had to throw those out and then obviously I had to replace bears. But now that I was, oops, now that I was replacing pairs, I was like, I might as well just get them from a brand I really like because I noticed from the Figs ones, um, they go through multiple washes and they still look the same. So that's that. Um, and now when, since I'm still talking, thought maybe I can just give you a quick little update about my little nursing career right now. Um, obviously I finished nursing school and it just, if you like, it was in one of my vlogmas videos, my last day of nursing school. So definitely check that out if you're like interested in like nursing school videos. Vlogmas, my content obviously just doesn't do well, but um, I'm still like vlogging as I like typically would. So um, you can check that video out for my last day of nursing school. I mean, just being like emotional and like nervous and uh, I don't know, excited. It was just a lot. So anyways, I finished nursing school in December, 2021. Um, took a few weeks off. I didn't want to start working in December. I knew that for a fact. Um, but I did also pick up a lot of shifts at Lululemon and I was working there. So I never really took like a break and then I ended up getting sick and it wasn't COVID. I did get tested. I ended up getting really sick and that kind of like forced me to rest. Um, so after Christmas, I was basically resting for like a week straight. Um, and then basically from the start of January, I, like in December, I was still like talking and communication with every place that I wanted to work and all that. And I had gotten hired. Sorry, let me sit a little comfortably. Um, and then starting January, basically, I just started doing my um, online like orientation stuff for like um, two of the places. So that was actually a lot because I like the trainings can be very time consuming. And there some of them are like scheduled at like a certain time. So I had like, I think like three days of like, I don't know how many hours of stuff I had to get done. And then um, there was like a whole bunch of other like certifications and other trainings and stuff that you have to do for like orientation um, online. So that's basically what I did for like the first two weeks of January, basically. Um, and then, and now I just kind of started my orientation like in person at two of the sites. I did get hired at the all three places that I applied. Okay, wait, that's a lie. So. I know I'm hired at all three places. So two of the places I like did my interviews, I got hired, I did all the paperwork, all that stuff. The third place is where I did my student nursing job and I was um, asked to just reach out when I finished school, which I did. Their hiring process took a little bit of time. And then um, I was obviously getting really busy with this stuff. So my interview schedule, like schedule just wouldn't line up. So I have an interview in like a week from now. Um, so that's, that's gonna be like, you know, we'll know what's happening then. Although I was kind of already like told basically, that's why I'm saying I got hired at three, all three places is because I know that I kind of have it. And I'm not saying this in like a overconfident or arrogant way or anything like that. It's just like, that's just the truth of it. But, um, obviously for like formality reasons and just to like, make sure that you're actually, you know, you know what you're doing. Um, they do still have to interview you and, um, I'm choosing to interview for the exact same place that I did my student nursing. So that's why. So I'm kind of already familiar with everything. I'm sure I'll go well, I'm not super stressed or anything about it. So that's that. And I told them that I would not be able to start until a little bit later in the year. So I probably won't start there until either end of March or until early April, just because I want to settle into my other two jobs first um, and then kind of go from there. And also I'm just kind of being casual for now because although there are many lines available, I just want to like make sure that I make the right choice. I know exactly where I want to work and where I want the full-time line, but the place that I want to do that is a little bit harder 
to get. So um, I'm just going to wait it off. I'm going to build my sonority and just kind of work at a few different places. And they're all very different from one another, which I really like because if I feel like I'm getting like too tired at one place, I can always pick up shifts at another place. Um, and also just kind of gives me the opportunity to kind of like mix um, different shifts in different places around so that's kind of why I made the decision that I did and I'm actually really happy with this so far and also starting out as a new grad this way I kind of get to like pick my own kind of hours and if I feel like I'm getting really exhausted then maybe I don't have to like pick up shifts for a period of time so yeah with that being said though um this like the last since all of January basically has just been really busy for me and like I said on Wednesday I started my 10 day thing so next Friday is my last shift and then I get the weekend off and then I'm back to work on the Monday so that's kind of like the thing about being casual is sometimes you could overdo it um, but you're kind of in charge of your own schedule right so um, I don't know I mean it works out it's fine I'm happy with it also sorry for the whole mess like I'm obviously gonna put that away my steamed clothes are hung there on my chair like I said and my room is just such a mess but I'll tidy it up a little bit I guess tonight before I go to my night shift um so that's that I also wanted to share that I have not written my nursing exam yet because obviously because of COVID dates have been postponed so it is coming up soon it is in early March um and I need to start studying for that because I have not studied for it yet at all <laughs> I haven't even opened up my books once since nursing school finished um, so I need to get on that and I'll probably film like a study with me video or something and just show you all how I'm like prepping for my licensing exam. So yeah, and the cool thing is like, you know, you get to, you can start working on like, um, like a temporary kind of license before you write your exam, which is really nice. So that's just what I've been doing. And that's what like basically all of my classmates have been doing. Um, and then I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure mostly everybody in my cohort probably applied for the first intake. So that's coming up. Um, graduation, unfortunately, is going to be moved to online. And I am so sad because originally it was online, then it got shifted to in-person. And now with all the cases, they just had to make the decision to move it online. And I am so sad because I looked forward to graduation for like so long. And like, I don't know, it's just like a time to be with like all your friends, all your classmates and like walking the stage and just seeing everybody's like achievements and like taking pictures and all that kind of stuff so the celebration part of it I'm like really sad about and I just I don't know I just thought it was going to be a really good experience especially because our instructors are just amazing and like everybody's so much fun and like nice to be around so that really sucks it's going to be online and um I'm supposed to be getting like a box sent home with like my cap and everything like that so yeah I'll show you all that when that stuff comes but that's so sad. <laughs> um, so that's where I'm at right now with my nursing career and like post nursing school kind of life. Um, and obviously I will try to share like my struggles and my achievements and just kind of like, I don't know, my day to day routine being a new grad nurse now. So and I'm also going to share that like now my Lululemon shifts are coming to an end. I've had no choice but to leave now because obviously if I'm working at three different places as a nurse, I need to um, obviously leave my part-time job that's been like so much fun to work at and I've obviously enjoyed my time there um, over the years and they've just been so supportive to towards like my entire nursing school journey. And I definitely would have loved to work there throughout, but there's just no way I could. So that's the only reason I'm leaving. Um, and I'm so sad. And by the time this video goes up, I'm already going to be gone by then. But that is why I have so many little lemon hauls coming because I've just been buying so much stuff. And yeah, so that's kind of where my life is right now. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I guess, about being a new grad nurse or like end of nursing school or anything nursing school, just definitely leave it in the comments down below um ask me any questions you have if you want to watch any of my nursing school videos maybe start from the beginning and you can just kind of watch my whole journey whatever I chose to film I know there was weeks when it was like really really busy and I just could not film or I was just super exhausted and I could not film but try my best to kind of keep that journey documented so definitely check those videos out if you're interested in stuff like that um 
yeah it just feels really weird to just like not be going back to school right now so that's my life update right now um and I'm gonna quickly tidy up my room a little bit and then I think I'm gonna try to take a nap because I'm so tired and I don't know I just don't want to be this tired during my night shift because there's no way I can just fall asleep as I'm taking care of people you know what I mean so I'm gonna try to take a nap and if it doesn't happen then I don't know maybe I'll vlog whatever else I'm doing I'm just getting ready for my night shift now my hair is a mess so please excuse that I still have to do my hair um, I just changed into my navy fig scrubs um, put on a full sleep underneath and then I'm gonna put on this gray zip up that I have from Old Navy. Um, I was just packing some of my stuff so I poured some water and I'm just gonna take these two snacks. One's a fiber, one bar. It's like this lemon flavor, I actually really like it. And then I just have another Rice Krispie if I want some more sugar. Um, I know it's really bad, I'm not actually packing like a full meal or anything for night shift because I always end up eating dinner before I go and I never really get that hungry and I don't wanna eat in the middle of the night really anyways. Um, and then I got, uh, I'm also going to throw in a liquid IV packet. I'll probably just mix this in with water there and just drink it throughout my shift. Um, and actually, for the first time ever, I'm going to take my Kindle with me for my night shift because I'll probably just end up reading on my break and I'm so excited. I need to purchase a case for this. I've been looking at them for a while now. I just haven't placed an order. So, um, that's the only thing, but I'm so excited to take this. This is like literally the best purchase ever uh, the best gift ever actually um i love reading on this i thought like i wouldn't be because i'm not necessarily like an electronics type of person um and i like reading physical books and i have so many of them but when i started reading on this it doesn't actually feel like you know you're like on like a electronic device like i don't know how to explain it like it's still really fun to actually read on this so i'm gonna take this as well just to keep myself um occupied during my break and yeah. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Saturday, January 29th, around 7.40ish in the morning, and I am just uh, driving home from night shift. I honestly had a really good shift, so I'm super thankful for it. Um, obviously, like I said, I am on orientation. Um, it got kind of busy for me, just because I took on a heavier workload, um, but like time just flew by, so it like went by and I'm kind of happy that like time flew by so that I didn't like have to like sit around and be like oh my gosh like how many more hours or anything like that so um time definitely just flew by tonight which worked in my favor um and yeah now I just can't wait to go home and get a nap in probably won't sleep much maybe two and a half to three hours maybe three and a half we'll see if I'm really wanting to cut it short I have to wash dry and straighten my hair today because um it's just at that point where it's like starting to look all greasy and stuff and then obviously tonight I'm working night shift again and then after night shift I'm going straight to the lemon so um I probably I just won't have time to wash my hair otherwise and I don't want to go to work tomorrow to with like greasy hair because usually I like leave it open um so yeah anyways when I wake up for my nap I will update you on whatever else I'm doing or whatever else I feel like I want show you all but yeah also the sky looks so pretty right now and this is one thing I love about night shifts is when you get off in the mornings like you just get to see all the pretty pretty views and so it's like just the little things that put you in a better mood honestly a few hours later on the same day um I woke up around I woke up at 12 but I didn't get out of bed until 12 30 um and I wash dried and straightened my hair which is such a process and I really had to do it um, like I was saying to you all so I did all that and now I'm just about to prep my lunch for tomorrow's shift because um, when I get off night shifts I'm going to night shift tonight and then tomorrow morning when I get off um, I get off at 7 30 and then I start at Lululemon at 9 30 so I don't obviously have time to like prep anything I'm gonna be super rushed so I'm just gonna take the same lunch that I took to work for two shifts and it's worked really well for me Obviously, when I'm working 12-hour shifts, I take more snacks and, like, more other um, options. But because I'm just working from 9.30 to 5, I don't need a whole lot of stuff. But I obviously need to take, like, a proper lunch because I will be hungry and I need some energy. Um, and so, anyways, last week when I was, like, deciding to do this whole meal prep thing, I went and purchased this 
um, pre-packaged like chopped salad kit and it's the buffalo ranch flavor um, and it's actually really good it's my first time doing this whole thing about like using pre-packaged salads and it actually like is super convenient especially for somebody like me who literally does not cook at all um, so I'm just gonna pour this in here I think I'm just gonna use the whole thing up now because um, it's gonna expire in a few days anyways so I don't want to take this to work again on Monday so I just use that whole package up and then my container is honestly the best because it has compartments so put this on top and now I'm gonna put the chicken breast in so I cooked the chicken breast um, I think on Tuesday I don't even remember when my work week started, but basically the day before my shift started, I um, cooked chicken breasts in the air fryer. And so, and then I just sliced them up kind of really thin. So um, this is just, it works for me because, you know, you can still eat like a cold chicken um, salad kind of thing for lunch. Cause I'm very picky with my food. And it's like, if it's like meant to be warm and it's not like, I just don't really enjoy it. So I'm just picky like that. And so that's why it's really hard for me to kind of figure out what I'm gonna eat and stuff. Um, but so far this has worked. So anyways, I'm putting chicken breast in this compartment. And now um, this container also comes with like a little thing for like dipping sauce and stuff. So I'm just gonna pour this Buffalo Ranch into that container and then pack it all up. And this buffalo ranch also came in the pre-packaged, um, in that pre-packaged packet. So it was all together. They had croutons in there and they had some cheese, which I'll just show you in a second. Um, okay, I think that's fine. I never end up using this whole thing anyways. gets placed in there oh no okay well I guess the good thing is that I did that I never forget this but of course today I'm filming and I forgot to do it so I'm gonna dump all the croutons into my salad as well it's like buffalo flavored croutons so I'm gonna dump whatever's left in here because I basically um, had it for like three servings since this is my third day I'm gonna be taking it and then whatever cheese is left in here. So like I said, it was all in the package and I just put it into these little containers just so, um, I don't know, it's organized, not a mess and like I'm not leaving like open food out for whatever. So yeah. Anyways, there's that. So that was super simple. And that's gonna be my lunch tomorrow once I'm off my, like once I'm on break at Lululemon. Um, typically, like I said, I've been taking this for my 12 hour shifts and it's worked really well. Now I'm out of all of this stuff, so I'm going to have to go grocery shopping soon. Um, but it's been keeping me full because I've also been taking, let me just show you quickly. I've also been taking like fiber wine bars. I have the cliff bars at home as well because I bought those when I went grocery shopping. Um, so I might just take that maybe for tomorrow. And then I also have been taking... this drinkable tibia yogurt um and i know obviously i can just get like a bigger container it's so much cheaper to do that um and then just pour it but i'm just like and i used to do that but i don't know i really just wanted a drinkable yogurt and it's been tasting really good so it's been working for me so i've been taking kind of healthier options i've also been taking the knees to eat during like my second break um and it's been working good um but at least this is packaged up now tomorrow i'll just have to put it in my bag and take it um, I'll just have to fill up some water and I think I'll probably end up taking, I don't know, either a cliff bar or the fiber one bar to eat with my salad tomorrow once I'm on break there. And then I get off work um, at 5 p.m. and obviously in the evening I'm not going to want to go grocery shopping after working such long hours. Um, and then on Monday I start at 8 a.m. which is actually good, I get to sleep in a little bit. Um, so either I'll go on Monday evening when I'm done or I'll go on Friday morning because then on Friday, uh, Friday uh, or on Tuesday morning because on Tuesday I'm working eat, uh, like night shift. So we'll see. That's going to be the plan. But I think to, on Monday I'll probably just take a turkey sandwich um, 
since I have so much of the turkey breast sitting at home and I need to, it's gonna expire soon too. So I've definitely started making some healthier changes and I'm actually taking proper lunches and I'm really proud of myself. And um, if you're somebody like me who literally doesn't care about cooking or just needs to be super easy, try stuff like this because it's been working really well. I forgot to share, I'm actually gonna put this um, juice in my um, lunch kit as well because it's like a extreme energy superfood smoothie it was on sale at save on so i just got two i think it was like two for five or something like that um and i know i'm gonna need the energy tomorrow so i'm gonna put this into my bag as well i just took out my clothes for tomorrow's shift i'm gonna wear this new fold tank top um underneath my sweater obviously um and then i'm gonna because it's gonna be cold and then i'm gonna wear my nulu fold leggings i'm pretty sure they're nulu fold like it's definitely nulu fabric i just forgot what the name is called i think it's nulu fold and they went on like the we made too much section and i bought them that time um and i've worn them actually quite a bit because obviously they're like literally a line fabric and then i'm gonna wear this brand new hoodie that i purchased um it's a scuba um cropped kind of and not crop oh my god I keep forgetting the names <laughs> but like the full zip version of it so and this is in the color silver blue it literally sold out so fast um and I was so lucky that I got my hands on it so I'm gonna wear this it's definitely gonna be shown in my Lululemon haul which I have so to show you all so definitely stay tuned for those videos because there are so many of them coming so that was one of my newer items that I purchased so I'm gonna wear that tomorrow to work I'm just gonna put it on my computer chair um, and it's like all ready to go for tomorrow and then I'll just come home quickly take a shower change and be out the door hopefully I'll have time to actually drink coffee in the morning but we'll see what happens so that's that um, I have a little bit of time left now before I drink my evening coffee well before I drink my coffee before going to work because I never drink another cup of coffee today when I woke up since I was like okay like it's gonna be so soon and then I'm gonna want to drink it again close to two that's why I had tea so I'm gonna in a little bit drink coffee and have my lunch and dinner <laughs> com combined and then get ready for work change into my scrubs and <laughs> So I'm ready for work, just put my hair in a ponytail, put on my Luna scrubs, um, I always wear a full sleeve underneath my scrubs, and then I put on a zip up, and then obviously my jacket, but the zip up and the full sleeve, I literally stay in both because I'm always cold at work. Um, so yeah, I'm basically ready to go, um, there's still like 10 minutes before I'm going to leave, so I'm just going to probably sit around <laughs> before I leave to work. And I think I just want to end off the vlog here as well. Hold on. I think I want to end off the vlog here just because if I was to extend it, um, I'm going to end up filming the whole week, um, like the following the week that's coming up. And then it's just going to be way too long for me to edit. I don't really have time to edit such a long video. So I think I'm going to end it off here. And then tomorrow morning, I'll start a new vlog because obviously it's like my last lemon shift and everything like that. So I want to definitely record all that. Um, so I'll probably just start that in the morning and then record the rest of the week. Um, also, this looks so weird. Got sidetracked. Okay. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I shall see you in a new video very shortly. Bye.